Join me in painting even more cute dogs. Let's start off by painting a Samoyed. It might appear as though dogs were on my mind in the beginning of 2023, though in all honesty it was mostly because I was figuring out this cutesy style I had been using in some other projects during the previous year. And I figured dogs were the perfect animal to work with, as they come in so many different shapes and sizes. The first thought for the colour combinations of this series was to use different colours compared to the previous dogs I had painted, and my choice naturally fell to something like purple. And because of that, my first choice of flower for the Samoyed was lavender. Though, while painting, I felt that the image lacked warmth and decided that it was best to change the colour of the flower to pink. And funnily enough, there are also some varieties of lavender that are pink, so I chose to keep the shape of the flower as is. Next up is the Pomeranian. Pomeranians are known to be a small breed, but of course there are still size variations within the breed itself. I wanted to try to show off their size in this image, and initially thought painting the dog in a teacup would be a good idea. However, I later thought better of it and changed it to flowers instead. As proven in this painting, you don't always have to go with the first attempt of an image. At times, you get to a point where you're almost done, only to find that it's not quite working. And sometimes, like with a Samoyed, there's a quick fix and you can change some colours or even change some details and you're back on track. However, like with this Pomeranian in a teacup, it might mean that starting again is the best course of action. So if you're not happy with your work and you have a chance to start again, then please attempt to do that first before entirely giving up on the image. That said, please know that it's also totally valid to abandon a piece that isn't working and create something entirely new instead. Finally, we have the Galgo Espanol, also known as the Spanish Greyhound. The sketches done during this mini-series were all painted while looking at references of the breeds. It's just not possible for me to know what all breeds look like, and I find it's always best to find references to look at. Though, while using references, I'm still adding my own twist, especially in the form of style. Here, my aim is to try to capture the characteristics of the breed, which might also include things like poses and such, rather than copying an image like for like. When a dog comes in multiple colours, it can be a bit tricky to pick which one to use. So in this case, I started with a warm brown, only to change it a bit later on. This is partially because I felt the image was a bit too warm, and we already had an image in the series that was more warm toned. Instead, I opted for a grey which complemented the pink flowers nicely. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel and you can find more of my work on my website and on social media.